What's up, PV Poppers? Jordy Pop, 83 here today, coming at you with another awesome episode of uh, of some amazing battles. Right? We are still here in San Francisco. Uh, said hi to a buddy of mine over the last couple of days. That's why, you know, the the uploads have not been super regular and definitely not that high a quality. And I super apologize about that. Yesterday's video, the music was just way too loud and. We're gonna do better. We're gonna do better. I have an amazing episode for you tomorrow with a super solid, solid team. Straight brute force team. Almost no thought required, just straight wins. You guys are gonna love it. Today's episode is focusing on a little bit spicier of a pick. Uh, we have an Obama Snow lead with Shadow Machamp and Azu in the back. And let's get into the battles. Battle number one we have. Obama Snow into Hypno. And, uh, well, both of our moves are gonna be um, uh, neutral here. So basically, we're gonna look to switch out because they, we were taking on way too much damage from that confusion. So we switch into our, um, our boy Azu here. And Azumarill is gonna be taking super effective damage from that Thunder Punch. And you're going to be noticing that pretty much every Hypno will be running Thunder Punch. Uh, it seems like the set that people are um, preferring right now is Thunder Punch Fighter Punch, which actually works pretty well. Uh, I'm not one to like any Pokemon that runs a four turn fast move. Personally, that's just my personal opinion. Um, a lot of people are very good with them, but I find them to be too clunky and just... I mean, one turn, one move every two seconds is just very slow. You know what I mean? It, so, and then in that two seconds, you can have somebody that's attacking you three times with a fast move before you can even get to your first fast move. So that's a thing, right? That's definitely a thing. And it, it, you'll see, uh, I had actually a perfect example of that where I was actually able to farm down somebody with three one-turn fast moves before they were able to get off the one four-turn move that would have killed me, which was actually a pretty cool finish, actually. All right, so now we're into this wonderful, um, what's it called, Azu-Azu matchup, but we did win that last matchup here, and then we're able to get in with our, um, with our, what's it called, and he switched into his Registeel here, uh, our Bomba Snow. He switched into Registeel, which is great that we didn't throw off that uh, that energy ball, and now we're able to switch right into our Shadow Machamp. We have a shield. He's got a shield. We're gonna be farming this thing all the way to the ground. Okay, and then uh, we'll he'll bring back uh, Home Slice in the back, right? So yeah, just a straight out farm down here. Oh man, those are so satisfying, aren't they? Just great. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And then he comes back in with uh, his Azu, and we're just gonna go straight for these rock slides here, doing amazing damage. Nice neutral, I believe. Neutral damage? Yeah, nice neutral damage. About 40% per. We have a second one charged up, ready to rock and roll. No pun intended until I realized it, and then it was so intended. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he does shield that second one there. He wised up and he decides to quit. Interesting quit on his part. I guess he realized that there was a, a bomb of snow in the back and he didn't have anything really to do. But just you guys don't quit. Ever quit. Never ever quit. It's rude to your opponent. Believe me, it is. All right, so we switch out into our Azu. He switches into his Ferrothorn. We had amazing lead on that front there. So um, on the front part, actually no, he had a good lead. So we switched. He switches into his uh, into his power whipper here. Those man, those power whips, they whip real good. Power whip it real good. And uh, he's gonna be able to get to another one. He didn't. We didn't get any shields off of him, but we did get him down to about half health. And then now we're gonna be able to come in with our Machamp and just smack a booty, smack a booty, smack a booty gone. He's gonna be throwing something that we're gonna shield. Probably the power whip. Yep. Man, that move hits hard. And then, so down goes Ferrothorn. We're ready to uh, switch again. And he's gonna bring in an Azu. We're gonna bring right back into our Obama Snow. He's gonna switch immediately into his home slice. And we're gonna go ahead and go for these Weather Balls. So Alolan Marowak, 
obviously not going to be taking super effective damage or even effective damage from these weather balls, but you got to do what you got to do when you can do it, right? Uh, so we're not going to shield that, and then we're going to go straight because it was a bone club, thank God. So here we go. Weather ball, weather ball, weather ball. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What you going to do? So we got that weather ball out. We got him down to half health, half health. Okay, now we're gone. In comes Machamp. No rock slide. We got the shield. We shielded a bone club. That's a bummer. That's okay, though. Here we go with the rock slide. But he's got two shields, and it's never going to work, and we are going to lose this match for sure. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, those bone clubs hurt when you're a shadow boy. So we're trying to get it to two rock slides here so that we can at least ensure that we can strip all shields, right? So one shield, two shield, and then we don't have enough health. So we tried our best. We did our best. We did our worst. We did our worst and we tried our best. So that's how that one went out. All right, GG's to my opponent there. And then let's check out the trend report. So in between this match, I did check out the trend report here and I noticed that uh, there was a couple of really fun lines that I actually have Pokemon for. And I think I decided to try out the Beedrill, Cresselia, and uh, Stunfisk line. But as you can see, of course, Tropius is kicking butt. But uh, also Umbreon, uh, hint, hint for tomorrow's episode. Umbreon is doing really well. Uh, and then you got Cresselia in there, of course, with the Psycho, Psycho Cut or Confusion. I'm actually thinking about running Confusion um, now. Uh, because you don't lose too much on the energy generation and you gain a lot on the damage output. So that is definitely an, uh, a thing. But definitely check out PB Pokes. Um, trend report and definitely go and um i'll put it in the description uh go to his patreon and support pv poke uh, his patreon it, it's it'll be the best thing you ever did in your life for sure for one you're supporting uh the t the tool that pv peers use to um to do anything really so now we're going to bring in our drift blim here so i think we went with meganium drift blim and something else we're trying all kinds of stuff, but we did end up on a very solid, amazing team that we're going to be showing you tomorrow that is literally foolproof, so good, so great, so awesome, ooey, ooey, ooh. So, uh, yeah, I'm already, um, I believe it's 8-2 and two for the day, and the two losses that I had were, one was a triple shadow team that I could have won, but I, I messed up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so anyways, we got our Meganium into that boy there, uh, Bastiodon. And then he's going to go into his uh, Vigoroth, which is fine by us because uh, counters again are going to be resist. Oh, no, they're not because we're just Meganium. We're not uh, part poison. So they're going to be neutral, and that's going to be fine. We're going to shield this body slam. We're going to get to try to get to another... Uh, we were trying to get to another frenzy plant, realized that we were not going to be able to, and decided to bail out to possibly save that opportunity for later when we're taking less damage from something else. All right. Uh, he's going to be throwing off a body slam, which we don't really care about because we are part steel and part rock, and I think those both resist neutral. Uh, so we may be double resisting neutral. I'm not sure. I'll probably put something up on the screen for this one. Um... This is a good matchup, actually. Yeah, this is actually this is definitely a, a, a matchup I'll put up on screen because this, this is a very weird, neutral, not very effective, super effective, all kinds of weird stuff going on there. So definitely check that out. Um, we were able to get the sludge bomb on our, and then I guess we died. I don't know what happened there. Sorry guys, that was weird. I guess the 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 uh, thing cut out. Okay, now we're on to the B drill team. So now we've got this, we've got like three teams in this team. Um, Beedrill, and then we switch into um, into our Galarian Stunfisk here. Get Bubble Beamed, that's fine. Okay, in comes, uh, man, he gets him so quick. I, don't, I thought that was, that only looked like two shift, uh, uh, two snarls to me, but what do I know? All right, Rock Slide going out. One, two, three. And then we're going to go ahead and get this other... Rock slide going. Man, that's a nice chunk there. He's going to be throwing off this leaf blade. We decide to let it go. Oh, that's a nice chunk too. I never noticed that the leaf blade is a literal green sword. That's pretty cool. 
Man, I'm doing terrible on that. I think I was uh, a little bit busy with something else. We decide to not shield this. It's going to be a leaf blade. We're going to be fine. We're going to be double resisting that. Then he's going to bring into his Mantine. We're going to go ahead and go for X Scissor here. Apparently, the move to do is Fell Stinger. Um, that's news to me, so I'm going to go ahead and probably switch that today. Um, but yeah, X Scissor is nice. And, you know, X Scissor could come in handy when you're dealing with all these psychics and darks out there, so I might leave it with X Scissor, actually. Um, all right, and then we got Cresselia, and he's going to be throwing off something that we don't care about. Aerial Ace, that goes through, that's fine. Grass Knot, uh, he's going to throw off another Aerial Ace, that's fine. We're going to try to farm it down. Can we farm it down? Or at least farm up to two Grass Knots. Bubble Beam, it's just a Swift Tree. Now we have a bunch of energy on our Home Slice in the back, on Cresselia in the back. We're going to go ahead and shield this Leaf Blade. We're gonna go ahead and get up to rock slide, knock it out, and then now we have two leaf blades ready to rock and roll. No shields. Oh no, he's got a shield still. Oh, he's got the Azu. Okay, so he's got an Azu. We've got two grass knots. Can we make this happen? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so grass knot going out. Grass knot going out again. How much damage does this do? Does this do over 50%? Does it do over 50%? No, it does not. Uh-oh, I think we're uh, in trouble here. I think we're in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> Play rough. We're dead. All right, battle number five. TM Trainer. All right, Beedrill into Azu. Let's go. This is, what we've, this is what we live for. This is our dream. If you guys are enjoying this episode, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment below about anything you want to see that you that you are seeing that you like that any all, all that good stuff. Just comment below on whatever you like. Uh, tell me what what more stuff you want to see in this. Uh, I'm actually going to do an episode on Enigma Week coming up uh, on what you should be looking for and how you should be trying to tackle that. Um, what hopefully is not as big of a money grub of a week. God, man, Niantic really blew it on Dragon Week, you guys. Um, Sylph Road did a, a, a 266 um, egg hatches and not one was a dino. I got lucky. I got two, but that's just luck. You know what I mean? Over 266 hatches, not one is a freaking dino. That's really bad. Really bad. Especially on Niantic's part. Um, it's just not good for business. You know what I mean? All right. So we got our Galarian Sunfisk into Home Slice and then he brings in in butter butt and so then we're gonna go ahead and just throw off this earthquake and say good night Reggie Steele right oh yeah that's a big big chunk he's gonna come in with his focus blast here and surprisingly enough that will not KO uh, focus blast was nerfed by 10 and so I'm guessing that that used to KO uh, because 10 plus the uh, the boost right would be another 16 damage i'm guessing that would have been way closer to killing me than it did than it just got now we're actually able to get to this rock slide here um and beautiful now we switch out immediately into home slice get uh we just about got to that x scissor but we did not and that's okay because we actually were able to suck down the energy here bring in chrysalia go for the moon blast let's go get it where you fit it yeah, buddy. All right, so we got that Moonblast flipping off. So down goes Altaria. In comes nothing. Good game. GG's. So we go, I believe we went 4-1 that round, or that set. Uh, went, we tried a ton of teams, right? So in the next episode, we, we, uh, we go back to the drawing board. I spent probably an hour or two in Team Builder yesterday. And I stumbled upon a really nice new core, something that I haven't seen on in, anywhere, is uh, Umbreon and Azumarill core. And tomorrow I'll reveal what I add to that to get a team building score of a B, A, A, A. All right, guys, thank you so much. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. I appreciate you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.